hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we will learn about overhead projector okay so overhead projector is a old technique and it has been now replaced or removed by video projectors like led lasers etc but it is still in use in academic period okay so what is overhead projector so overhead projector is a film like or slide projector that has light inside light means halogen lamp is there which is used to make the writing or pictures that is placed as a transparencies on the top of lens appear on the screen and all in enlarged form okay so this projector is capable of projecting enlarged image of written or pictorial material onto the screen or wall from a transparency placed horizontally below the projector and lighted from underneath okay so this projector this projector have a flat transparent top on which a seat like transparency is placed and over overhead mirror is there which reflects the image on the transparency to the screen okay so now we will see the mechanism how does or how does it work they are working so that we can understand that the definition whatever i have said or whatever is written here and the components the function of the components in a proper manner okay so for this this so see this is overhead projector okay so this is lamp halogen lamp mainly halogen lamp is placed here okay and here is fan or blower can be placed okay this is fractional lens this niche wala fractional lens hai aur ye jo hai transparencies hai theek hai aur yahan hamara ye focusing knob hai और यहाँ पे मिरर प्लेस्ड है इधर कहीं स्क्रीन होती है ठीक है तो अब देखते हैं कि नीचे जो लैम्प है हमारा ये हेलोजन लैम्प द लाइट विच इज कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम दिस गोज टू द फ्रेशनल लेंस विच कॉल इमिट्स ऑल द रेज एंड रीडायरेक्ट्स ऑन टू द मिरर एंड मिरर ऑन टू द स्क्रीन ओके सो ओवर इन मिरर टिपिकली कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ लार्ज बॉक्स ओवर इट प्रोजेक्टर मेनली कंसिस्ट ऑफ अ लार्ज बॉक्स दैट हैज लैम्प एंड अ फैन और ब्लोअर इन साइड इट फैन टू कूल इट ऑन द टॉप ऑफ वर्क फ्रेशन लेंस इज दियर एंड अ फैन फ्रेशन लेंस इज द इज दियर विच कॉलमेट्स ऑल द लाइट एब द बॉक्स अ लार्ज फ्रेशन लेंस एब द बॉक्स टिपिकली ऑन अ लार्ज आर्म लॉन्ग आर्म अ मिरर एंड अ लेंसेस there which focuses and redirects the light forward instead of up okay instead of up they focusing towards the mirror transparencies these are the transparencies okay these are the transparencies so transparencies are placed on the top of lens this is the lens and this is placed on the top so that the light come out from the lamp travels through transparency onto the mirror onto the mirror which it soon forward onto the screen for display the mirror allows both the presenter and audience to see the image at the same time the presenter looking down at the transparencies as if he is writing he or she is writing the audience look forward at the screen the height of mirror can be adjusted or both focus the image and to make the image larger or smaller depending on how close the projector is to the screen okay so hope you understand the mechanism well now we will see the functions of this is real peak of this is real peak of pro, overhead projector the, here fractional lens is there and on which the transparencies will be should be placed okay this is the switch okay this is the switch when we switch on this the light here somewhere here the fresh and lens will be should will be there which reflects or uh, which originates all the light and which travels through this okay here maybe fresh and lens and they redirects on to the mirror and mirror will so on to the screen okay so now we will see the component 
so for souls of source of illumination a high a, the lamp technology of a overhead projector is typically very simple compared to the modern lcd or dld video projector okay so most overhead projectors uses extremely high power high power halogen lamp up to 752000 watt okay so halogen lamp fairly dim and yellow in this okay so high flow of blower is required to keep the bulb from melting itself okay due to high heat output further the intense heat usually causes the halogen lamp to fail quickly okay so we often lasting less than a thousand hundred hours before failing and requiring replacement okay so modern in modern lcd so i have told that a uh, high high flow blower is kept which keep the bulb from melting itself due to high heat output arc lamp is placed in modern lcd or dlc dl dlp which is having higher luminous efficacy as compared to the halogen lamp okay so now transparencies okay transparencies are 10 into 10 inches it it may be in printed or drawn, uh, drawn material which may be single or roll form that is placed on the platform of projector which enlarges the image on the screen ohp markers can be used on the transparencies if they like to okay so black blue or green color is the best color which they can if they want then they can use the color and uh, they can use the markers on the on the transparencies okay so transparencies can be single or roll type now condenser or fresnel lens so as i have told that fresnel lens is located on the glass plate on which the transparency is placed okay it illuminates transparencies okay main function of fresnel lens is to illuminate transparency okay so uh, many fresnel lens have short focal length which redir redirects mostly of the light that is hitting it into a converging cone towards focusing lens okay so focus at for focus adjustment focusing knob is there okay so for focus adjustment focusing knob is there which is a better quality of overhead projector offers a adjustment of wheel or screw on the body of projector to move the lamp towards or away from the fashion lens when the mirror is above the lens is moved too high or too low it moves out of the best focal length for a evenly white image resulting in projected image with either a blue or brown color fringing around the outside is okay so turning the adjustment will here they just uh, as i have shown this is okay this is focusing no okay so uh, we have turn and uh, turning the adjustment will and moves the lamp correct focal length and restores all the white projected uh, projected image okay so i have told the working earlier so uh, now there are some guidelines which we should followed for uh, during this okay so first is practice giving your presentation using a visual aids second is stand off one side of the projector while you face the audience actually too many people are stand between the of the projector and the screen causing a shadow of a presenter's body okay so standing one side will allow you the allow the audience to see you as a presenter and will prevent you from blocking their view okay next is do not face the projected image on the screen next is cover the transparency when you are done using it bring a spare bulb nothing is more unsettling than have to over it projector bulb burn out during a presentation so uh, bring spare bulb and a glove to change the bulb okay old bulb will be very hot so make sure that how you can change the bulb okay 
so next is place the overhead projector to your right if you are right handed and to left if you are left handed okay this will make you easier to face your audience and write if you need to okay so in either case you want to stand in the center of speaking area and a face of audience when you speak so next is store your overhead transparencies in the study box or container tap the power cord to the floor okay etc so thank you so much for your presence and if uh, hope you like this video if you have any problem you can ask your doubts in the comment box okay thank you so much